So obviously the nitrous didn't come on there. And uh, the reason for it is the fuel pump was failing. And um, I kind of figured that when I was doing the tune because it wanted more fuel than my 383 LE2 motor did on the uh, power enrichment tables which, and in the math tables. So I knew something wasn't right there. So come to find out it was the fuel pump. So he um, switched out the fuel pump. We hooked a fuel um, pressure gauge up to it, did some driving around, wide open throttle pulls, and after the after that, um, everything looked good. So, But on a side note, I had 26 degrees in this thing, and I had it a lot richer than it should be. And, um, you know, they ran a 12.9 on a nitrous tune, which is really, really good. And um, I think he ran a 12.8 at a negative DA, so him running a 12.9 with a nitrous tune at about 1500 DA. I think I could get this thing, you know, pretty quick on motor just by tuning on it a little bit more. But he wanted to hit the nitrous so and, and run some quick times, so that's what we did. Back at uh, Kentucky Dragway this weekend. It's raining a little bit. I don't know if you can see that rainbow or not, but the um, CC503 bolt-on LT1 car that we put the nitrous on a few videos ago. He's supposed to be here today, and I'm going to tune on that a little bit and uh, see if we can't get that. Running in the 11s, he tried once before. I wasn't able to video that, but the fuel pump went out on it. Luckily, he did purchase a fuel pressure safety switch for it, so nothing bad happened. But uh, he got a new fuel pump in it now. We're going to give it another go. I was also here the weekend before last, or last weekend, last Friday, tuning on a LT1 car that we got running. Uh, 12, 8, 13, which is both ones. So, yeah. There's, yeah, I believe that's his vehicle. And his trailer. And there's the car. And that's Austin and his C5. I think he's going to be a C5 too. But, uh, yeah. There's the car. Look at that today. And it did rain a little bit. There's the rainbow again. Hopefully, it passes over. Get everything dried up and start doing some racing. But this is Kentucky Dragway located in Clay City, Kentucky. I mean, this is right here where the clocks are, is a little bit after the eighth mile mark. So, huge shutdown. Turn road ain't gonna be the best. And then over there is the uh, where you get your time slip. And then the bar side over there is the pit side, and this is the stand side. racetracks close to me there's London dragway I-64 dragway I-64 is just eighth mile London and Kentucky dragway or eighth mile or quarter mile but this is probably my favorite track and it's right down it's a half mile from my house so that's a good thing Brandon we're going to get this thing started Nitrous tune up in her. Make a few small tweaks to the fuel pressure safety switch. He's going to send it right off the bat. Not sure if y'all can see that sun's glaring a little. He's in the far lane. Let's see what happens. Well, 
1973. Alright. So we tried to spray it and somehow that bracket got bent out and the throttle didn't hit the wide open throttle switch. But on a plus note, I'm kind of glad that happened because the AFR was really lean for some reason. I tuned on this wide open throttle on the highway the other day and we had it in a good spot. But um, I don't know. Uh, it was really lean, but even running lean and uh, the DA around 1500 and um, the shift set way back and only like 28 degrees of time and it still ran at 12.9. So that's promising. So I'm fattened it up a little bit. We're gonna load another tune. Let's see what it does. Well, we uh, we got through the first round of rain that passed us up, but then a second round came through and I shut it down. Hopefully, it'll blow over. They waved everybody off. Let's see. All right, we're back at the drag strip today, and. Uh, the LT1 Camaro we put the nitrous on with the uh, CC503 cam. We're going to see if it's going to work on nitrous today. We tuned on it a little bit yesterday, but the O2 sensor wasn't reading right, so I just did my best guess. So Then I got the girlfriend with me. Say hi. And we're going to do the date night race, which is kind of cool they do here. The men race each other, and then you turn around and the women race each other, and then the men race each other. And then when you lose twice, you're out. And last time, I didn't make a video of that, but last time we got second place. So, and sadly, I'm the one that lost both races. <laughs> and Jennifer, she won every race, anyway. Yep. <laughs> but uh, let's see what this uh, CC503 bolt-on um, gears, it don't have a stall in it. 150 shot does with this car hopefully it'll work this time this third attempt fuel pump went out then it rained us out and we're now but it worked yesterday on the highway when we was testing it all right he's making his next attempt and me and jennifer are practicing for our date night so we lined up next to him we'll see what he does here i don't know what happened the first time we made a little tweaks to it and see if it'll work this time That's a mid 11 right there, is what he ran. See, it stops right here, baby. Right there. Stop. All right, there we go, guys. That pass we did right beside him. He ran 11.67. 60 foot. It could 60 a little better, no doubt. And, um, what are you doing? Going that way. All right, and then Jennifer's up. It's her turn to practice for the date night, but, uh, yeah, CC503 cam, just a little cam. Um, it's got bolt-ons, the free mods, and then uh, 150 shot, and it does it does have some suspension work done to it, but whoever done the suspension work kind of did it themselves and like welded pieces in, but I mean, it, it, 60's pretty good on motor, but it looks like it's spinning a little nitrous. And that might be because he's got them big wheels on there and there's not enough meat on the tire to wrinkle any i mean there's only like two inches of tire but anyway my reaction time was terrible because i was trying to watch him but uh we're going to practice on jennifer's reaction time and see if we can't win this date night and we'll see if the uh lt1 on 150 shot cc 503 cam bolt on gear no stall can run a little faster all right here's brandon again third pass, second nitrous pass that it actually should work, worked a while ago, but see if he can beat that 11.67, I thought it said 11.57, but it said 11.67. All 
right, so Brandon's car ran 11.6, and then it ran 11.7, and then it, um, zoom that out more if it let me, I think I just messed the color up. Anyway, it ran 11.6, 11.7, and that's on a very, um, very conservative tune because the, the uh, O2 sensor wasn't working right, so I didn't want a chance leaning it out. So, I mean, it's got room to grow. I just need to mess, look at the plugs, make sure it's not getting no detonation. I know it's not getting knock at that tune, so we could probably richen it up a little bit and put a little bit more timing in it. I think I had um, 26 or 28 degrees in it which we could get away with 30 so but uh, on a plus note me and jennifer did win date night um which is pretty cool it's like a a round robin deal where the guy both people have to be in the car it has to be a 14 second or slower car and um the guy races and then the girl races guys race guys girls race guys guys race guys back and forth and you gotta lose twice and when you lose twice you get put out and we didn't lose until we got in the finals, so they had to beat us twice. And we only had to beat them once, and they beat us the first race, and then we won the second race. So we won day night, which is cool. And uh, we won a nice set of earrings and a, a steak dinner for that. So uh, awesome. Everything went well tonight. Uh, Brandon's car ran good on the 150 shot. It's got room to grow. And me and Jennifer won day night. Y'all have a great day.